Hello there everybody, Sabana92 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we finally defeated the Elite Four, and struggled immensely against Cynthia because Jesus Christ, she... Okay, I was having a little bit of fun just kind of like one-shotting the Elite Four, and then Cynthia comes along and totally wrecks my shit. Good God. Ugh. But, um... Yeah, as I promised, we are now going to go check out some of the post-game stuff. We still have to capture Mesprit, that's gonna take me some time. So, off-screen, I am I got a, uh, Golbat. I was recommended because Golbat can learn the move Mean Look. So, I figured that would actually be very effective because Mesprit's gonna run away every damn time, so I may as well try to use Mean Look to keep it in place. Also... Update that Golbat is going to be named Moitriche, but I want to get Gol I want to get evolved into Crobat. That way, I it can have Fly. Also, I'm pretty sure you've noticed the team is significantly different. Well, that's mostly because I decided the team that I took the Elite Four on with, they deserve a bit of a uh, break of sorts. So I basically put them into the PC box so they can kind of rest for a little bit considering how much work they've done. Also, I'm doing this so other Pokemon that I've captured can I finally have some of the limelight. So. We're gonna have, joining us, I also grinded up a little bit some of the team, as you'll see. Haven't really grinded up Burn Costal all that much. But, um, got, we got Burn Costal on here, on here. And I also went ahead and taught her fly, so, you know, get rid of Ancient Power. Considering Ominous Wind has got Stab and, well, it's better. Also got Kororo leveled up to 49. And... Pretty good stats, I think, personally. I just probably need to train her up a little bit more. But she's got Hail, Ice Shard, Ice Fang, and Crunch. And Hail will definitely be effective, you know, considering her Snow Cloak raises her evasion. We also got Soul the Weavile. With very good attack and very good speed. Jesus Christ. And she's got Faint Attack, Night Slash, Metal Claw, and Icy Wind. Although, I need to get her taught Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure, I think I was told that there is a tutor there that teaches Ice Punch, but I just had to figure out where they are. We've also brought Zekuto into the fold. He's got Confuse Ray, Extra Sensory, Faint Attack, and Gyro Ball. And extremely good defenses, I might say. Including with the Heat Proof ability, which is going to be pretty effective, I think. We also leveled up Mirie a little bit. <clears throat> good physical attack stat, I personally think, with some good special attack, decent physical defense with Crunch, Scary Face, Charge, and Spark. And finally, Mega Moo with a Jump Kick, Dizzy Punch, Bounce, and Cut. And speed's good. All right. I think, if memory serves, we were supposed to go to Snow Point City. So, I think there's supposed to be a boat down here where we're supposed to go to. Ah, there it is. What is it? You wanna sail to the battle zone? Yes, please. Oh, hi! I thought you would come. I'm glad I waited for you. Oh god, I don't want another rematch, please! I'm not prepared for it! I think it's good that our world is constantly changing. Of course, I don't want to become what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions. No one would want that. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy. Where Pokemon and the people around them can be happy for each other. Oh, um, I should probably leave a link to this in the description about this, but one of you guys uh, gave me in the Discord a link to this uh, Pokemon Generations video involving, like, Cyrus and Giratina. That shit was awesome! I feel stupid that I actually missed a lot of that stuff. Apparently there's like a bunch of Pokemon Generations videos that I missed. I want the world to become a place where everyone is smiling. The world... It would be so much better if we all tried to make it that way. Hmm. I want you to keep traveling to many far-off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people and Pokemon. I came all the way here just so I could say that to you. Your horizons will expand again if you visit the, fl the fight area as well. I hope our paths cross again. Okay. Bye. Aye aye then! Let's set sail! Okay. Well, let's go. 
Oh, of course. Oh my god. I was gonna make the joke. Oh no. Oh, hey, Sobata. What took you so long? I'm finding you 100 million. Uh, how about no? Actually, never mind the fine. Come with me, will ya? Okay. This place is fancy looking. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. What? What the fuck? What are these two doing here? Salata, I tried to get into the battle frontier, which happens to be right here. Then these guys came along and got in my face about it. Like, they're saying they want to test me if I'm good enough and all that. Like, as if I need to prove anything. So let's team up. Like we did the spear pillar. Let's show those guys how good we are. I'm fighting an Elite Four member. And Volkner? Can I just go to the Pokemon Center first? Yeah, fuck it, let's do this. Balls to the wall here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So there's an Elite Four and a Gym Leader. We can whoop them. This situation just cooks. The drama and tension sizzles. Flint, the Fiery Master of Fire Pokemon, is going to put you to the test. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. I don't know how I managed to get myself into this, but... Show me the skills that got you through the Pokemon League. Okay! Shit, I wasn't prepared for this! Oh boy! I'm at a... Well... Mm -hmm. This is kind of a severe disadvantage, I'm not going to lie. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Okay, ominous win on Luxray. Oh, come on! Fuck you and your outspeeding bullshit! Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have trained Burn Cost Love a little bit more. Whoa. Thank you? Is that gonna be enough no, to take down Houndoom? Yay! Although, I'm betting Luxray is gonna start attacking Star Raptor. Burn Costal! Come on! Oh my god, this would have been a. Shit. This would have been a perfect setup if I had, like, a Pokemon that had Earthquake or something. Oh, that's right, I put, I put Nude in the. PC box and Star Raptor's down. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Oh shit, he's got a Snorlax. Oh fuck you and your Flareon. Okay, I need to swap out. Um, actually, this would be a good opportunity to test out Zekuto's Heat Proof. All right, Zekuto. Oh, fuck. Come on, your defense is- oh. Yeah, okay, that's some good defenses, not bad. Uh, it's gonna be dramatically weakened. Okay. Um, I should probably go ahead and use Confuse Ray. On... Larion. Larion's Flash Fire raise the- Oh my god! You act- the AI actually had a team attack? Holy shit, I was not prepared for that! Well, he proved it jack shit! Damn, though! Holy shit, I wasn't prepared for that! Okay, uh... <laughs> Let's go, Mega Moo. Don't look at me like that! Uh... Bounce? Yoink! Okay... Uh... You do know Snorlax has some ridiculously high special defense. Okay... I'm 
at a severe disadvantage now. I hope that quick attack doesn't knock out. Fuck me! Please tell me that deals decent damage. Well, I paralyzed him. Ow. Mm. We haven't even taken down a single one of Vulcaner's teammates yet. Okay, fine. Oh, he's got Focus Blast. That is a very good fighting move. Accuracy kind of sucks, but it is a very good move. Oh shit, that works too. Good experience. I think a good Dizzy Punch should do well. That was actually decent damage. Oh god, why? I never liked you. I'm just gonna Dizzy Punch you. And another Focus Blast. Good thing I didn't target the Flareon. That's another one down. Come on, Megamoo. Confuse? Son of a, oh God. Fah! Why? Well, shit. Apparently I did not train enough. What a fucking shock. Let's go, Nerea. Magmortar and Electivire. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. Um. I don't wish Scary Face would hit both of them, but I'll just charge. Ah, oh, damn it! It missed. Let me guess. Magmortar's gonna use Fire Punch. Huh? Motor Drive. Re oh, you. Cheeky Minx. Oh. 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 Huh? Then what was the point of you doing that? Uh oh. Don't tell me you have Lightning Rod. You better not have Lightning Rod. I'll be very upset if you do. That's probably what he's got. Bolt absorb. Never mind. Okay, fine, fine. I see how it is. I don't see how it is. I'll fuck off. I'll fuck off. I'll fuck off. <sighs> Screw you, your freaking citrus berry. Of course, he's got charge beam. Let me guess, he's gonna get the he's gonna get the special attack boost per hey, there it is. <sighs> Knock him out, please. Not him! Cause it's not gonna knock him out. See? You had a better shot, just fuck me. <laughs> well, at least we get another charge off, which boosts our special defense even more. Which is great, I personally think. It should be very effective. Okay. Now Spock on the goddamn Magmortar! Oh my god, I just realized if he knocks out Magmortar. Okay, no, never mind. This actually works out just fine. Okay. Ugh, fuck off! Come on, Nerie. Yes, you're stronger than them. <clears throat> okay, is that all the... Oh, fuck right off, man. <clears throat> ah, damn, he's got a hair across. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a full restore here. Because I'm betting you Jolteon has Quick Attack. I bet you he does. Maybe I'm not ready for this place. What did I just say? Heracross, just do your shit. 
I know Heracross has ludicrously high attack power. Very high attack power. Ugh. Oh my god, he's still got Electivire. Oh, fuck you, Mike. Okay, first things first. Fuck you and your speed. Just don't knock out Heracross, please. He's kind I'm, I'm kind of relying mostly on Emera's team. <laughs> Fuck you! This is brutally unfair. That is extremely unfair! We'll just double crunch him. Thank you! My crunch is stronger. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course, you've got a citrus battery. And goodbye, Floatzel. Don't tell me that was Emera's last teammate. That better not be. Bye! Oh, hey. Well, at least me and Emera have good taste in grass types. Okay, Neri, finish him off! Yes! Ugh. Oh, hot damn! Thank you! Ugh. Your toughness is something else. We were completely overwhelmed. Stunned him into silence. Hey, don't burn out on us. Now you're just getting in the way. <laughs> that was a blast. Our combination came up short, but you're also a lot tougher as well. Promise me we'll do this again. I'll see to taking this husk home. Did he just fucking die? <laughs> see? I got a lot tougher, yeah? Yeah, you kind of carried me throughout the whole friggin' match. Apparently, I'm still haven't trained enough. Okay, I'm off to the front Thud. Who the hell are you? Uh... Shit, who are you? What's this all about? What the... Daddy? What? Excuse me? That's your dad? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if it isn't Emera, you've grown all sturdy. And Savannah too. I haven't seen you in a long time either. Emera. Your mother told me you'd gone off to the battle zone. So I had to come running looking for you. So, are you two going to take the Battle Frontier Challenge? The Frontier has five facilities that are all dedicated to battling. Each one has a unique set of rules, so they're all different. Of course, you have to be good to win at any of them. Anyway, I'm satisfied to see that you're both doing well. I'll go back to my usual place in the Battle Tower. I'll be looking forward to your challenge. You're... Your dad's part of the battle frontier? Holy shit! My dad is cool, huh? I mean, when it gets right down to it. You think so too, right? He's a frontier brain, after all. He's the tower tycoon. I... okay? I want to be cool like my dad. Sabata, that's the one reason I decided to become a trainer. Oh, what am I going to do? Should I make the challenge na now, or do I train some more? Okay, I decided I'm gonna get tougher by a lot. I finally made it here. There's no need to for haste now. Hey, who the hell are you? Hey, hey, I just watched you two battle. You're something special, aren't you? Beating an elite four like that. All right, howdy. The name's Buck. I'm usually training at the survival area or Stark Mountain. You should come up there. You'll get toughened up for sure. Stark Mountain. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and heal up. We kind of need the heals. Please. Hmm. Stark Mountain. I'm not going to need Rock Climb, am I? I kind of want to focus using this team right now, so... The way the battle tower looms, it really is a wall that stands before every trainer. 
I've battled many trainers over the years. I've gained some confidence in my skill levels too. But the world is still a huge place. It's not easy to win in life. You got that right. Hello. Because of the volcano, the land around here is craggy. The rough terrain and all the ups and downs make it hard to hike. Hmm. Let's break into people's homes. People are people and I'm me. I don't like to be compared. But comparing with other people reveals things about yourself sometimes too. That's why you should check out the Global Terminal in Jubilife City. Global Terminal. Everyone's fanatical about battling here. Hmm. Even from here, we could see the peak of Mount Cornet. Most people don't notice what happened up there, but I did. But I don't know what took place exactly, or anything like that. You mean all the shit with Team Galactic and trying to take over the world and all that shit? Create their own utopia? <sighs> okay. Hey there, dude. I'm the item expert. I have mastery in the way of items. You know, Pokemon, do they hold items? The better the item they hold, the stronger they become. There are items that are worthy of my recommendation. Care to know? Which item would you like me to describe? Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what most of these do. Expert Bell increases special or er, um, super effective hits. Focus Ash gives you a chance of surviving a hit. Lumberry cures any status ailment. Life Orb increases damage you deal while also dealing damage to yourself. Those just raise your EVs and we already know what Leftovers is. Leftovers! At the end of a turn, after both sides have made their moves, this whole item restores HP by about 6%. Oh, so that's the exact percentage, okay. A recovered HP could well be the difference in a tight battle. Which item would let me just grab? No, blah, blah, blah. There's a great variety of other items, of course. The kinds of items to be held will also depend on your battle strategy. All I can say in conclusion is that you'll never know when until you try. Thank you, old man, old, uh, biker dude. Hello, old man. The battle zone used to attract only the hardiest of the trainers. They are considered eccentric for gathering at a place like this. It's hard to believe how much it's changed since then. Places like the fight area and the survival area just seem to spring up overnight. Hmm. It was one of those early eccentrics who were around during the early days of the battle zone. And I was too. Really? Hello there, Torchic. Bye, Torchic. Hmm. Fight area. I, let me through, dude! Jerk. Hmm. Battle Frontier Head. Aim to win glory with Pokemon. You know, I think I might try that out, but that Stark Mountain thing got me curious. Alright. Um, standard, just go ahead and buy 10 Pokeballs. Actually, you know what? There. 42 Pokeballs, please. Thank you. It was intentional why I chose 42. What items should Pokemon hold? It's an important question. Here's something else to think about. Th th uh, thank you? It would enhance a Pokemon's strong point. A core for a weakness instead. It's a dilemma that comes up every time I let a Pokemon hold an item. Do you. Uh, thank you? What the hell's that do? Isn't that the one that increases accuracy? Or is that another one that I'm thinking of? Oh, let's boost the holder's critical hit. Oh! <laughs> hey, soul? I think you deserve that. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go and give the shell bell right now to burn Castle for the moment. And... I'm gonna use that Moonstone on a Pokemon that I want to get. Specifically, a Nidoran. I want to get a Nidoqueen on my team. An item that guarantees you won't ever lose a battle. They don't sell anything like that. Well, no, otherwise that would break the game. Frickin' dork. Route 230. Ah, we got double trainers around here. I'm actually gonna check my map, see where the hell I'm at. Okay, I'm right here. This leads over to the resort area. But if I go upward, survival area. What's up here? Stark Mountain. Hmm. I was told that there's actually a couple other places that I can actually visit, like, I think it was in this general area, uh, besides Iron Island. I think they told me, I was told like there's like a, 
two other islands I can go to, I think. I, for the life of me, can't remember exactly what they were, though. Anyway, let's just go explore a little bit. Ah, but we got these two to take care of. So in that case, I think we're gonna go ahead and put Soul right there. And Burn Costal needs the experience. All right. Huh? They're not gonna fight me? Hold it right there, trainer. If you're in the fine area, you've gotta visit the battle frontier. You don't earn experience points in your Pokedex as an update there. It's a place solely for trainers to hone their skills. Oh. Okay. Howdy, trainer. You have a Pokedex, do you? Here's my advice. Go on and challenge other trainers. They'll often have different Pokemon, so your Pokedex should fill up fast. Dude, I've been, that's kind of what I've been doing throughout this whole game, trying to fight as many trainers as I can. And even then, with all the grinding that I did, I still got my ass handed to me at the Elite Four. Oh. Can't really explore around here. What kind of berries are these, anyway? Greepa. Okay. I'll take one of each, just to see what they are first. Two Kelpsy berries. We have got Kelpsy berries. Alright, what kind of berries are these anyway? Let me just take a look here. Oh. Oh, here they are. Use it on a Pokemon, makes it more friendly, but also lowers its special... Oh. Oh, these are the things that increase friendship. Immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other one. And it'll make things a little bit easier whenever I want to go get a Pokemon and evolve it through level up in friendship. But apparently I can't go that way, so I guess I've got to go check out the fight area. Pokemon League's Elite Four come here sometimes. I imagine. There's no end to becoming tough. I just made that up. That sounds kinda cool, huh? Yeah, I'll give it a six out of ten. Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? And not what we're used to seeing around here. What? What kind of Pokemon? Oh, do they have other region Pokemon here? Hmm. And I'll just take a Pomeg Berry while I'm out. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna ex I mean, this video is probably gonna be exploring some of the new areas, and I'm probably gonna start targeting some of the more legendaries in the next episode. I don't need trainer, I have a Pokedex, do you? The person who gave you that must be waiting for you to fill it completely. Okay. Ahead, a road of challenges. Howdy, trainer! Have you been to the foul battle frontier? It's a good place to learn about the intricacy, in intricacies of battling. Like how certain Pokemon can battle certain moves and so on. That seems oddly specific. Okay, since everybody wants me to go check out the battle frontier, I'll just go check it out. Whoa! Okay, I got all the ladies. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. This is your first visit, right? Right this way, please. Which one am I talking to? Okay. Oh, you have a versus recorder? How oh, nice. We upgrade versus recorders for first-time visitors for Battle Frontier use. I'll borrow yours for a moment. Let's see, slide open this part here, and tick a tack a ka junk there. All done, here you go. Hey, thank you? I'm not really going to use it, but thank you. Our other staff will be pleased to explain how the individual facilities of the Battle Frontier operate. I can go over general topics. Do you have any questions? Battle Frontier, basic rules, battle... I know what battle points are. Exchange service corner, performance... Performance monitor. The performance monitor shows trainer data, such as the previous record and the best record to date. You will find one near the reception counter in each facility. Oh, oh, I feel stupid. I guess I'll just go over the basic rules here. The battles at the five battle frontier fa <laughs> five battle frontier facilities. Okay, are held under special rules. First and foremost, no experience points can be earned. Consequently, the Pokémon battling here will not level up. If the level 50 rule is chosen, Pokémon of higher levels will be temporarily reduced to level 50. Pokémon under level 50 will be entered without an upward level adjustment. Oh, that's not fair. I guess that could be fair if people want to try out a challenge. Yes, please, actually. The Battle Factory is at the upper right corner of the Battle Frontier. There you engage in a knockout tournament with rented Pokemon. Ooh! The goal is to keep winning for as long as possible. 
every time you win a match, you may trade one of your Pokemon for one of your opponent's Pokemon. That actually sounds cool. We hope you enjoy your visit. Ooh. Do other Pokemon? How the Battle Hall works. Okay. The Battle Hall is at the upper left corner of the Battle Frontier. Here you enter one Pokemon of your choosing for one-on-one -on -one battles. The objective is to keep your winning streak going as long as possible. We hope you enjoy your visit. Okay. So I have to have one very strong Pokemon to la Okay, this is... Ah, Jesus. Yes, how does Battle Castle work? The Battle Castle is at the lower left corner of the Battle Frontier. Here you are provided with Chasm Points, CP that you must manage. The CP are used for healing Pokemon, renting items or barriers, and so on. The objective is to keep a winning streak alive while managing your CP. Oh, so it's kind of like a dungeon crawler. And what do you got? Battle Arcade. The Battle Arcade is at the lower right corner of the Battle Frontier. Here a game board is activated before every match. Depending on what comes up on the game board, an event takes place. Some events will be good to the challenger, while others won't be. The challenger may even avoid having to battle at all. The objective is to keep a winning streak alive as long as possible. We hope you enjoy your visit. Okay. Huh. The versus recorder is sure nifty. Touching the screen shows you how much BP you have. Uh, the five facilities of the battle frontier, tower, hall, castle, factory, and arcade. How do you make an acronym out of that? We manage those letters, maybe. Thatch? Chafed? Nope, nothing works. Didn't anyone think of this? No, nobody thought of this, apparently. <laughs> my dream is to battle Palmer of the Battle Tower. I want to record it for posterity on my versus recorder. But I'm not good enough to battle my way to Palmer. I'm heartbroken. Okay. Battle Frontiers up ahead. What kind of the trainers would I see? What battles would I experience? It's a whole new adventure for me. Hmm. Oh, gee, oh dear God. Who stands? Welcome to the exchange service corner. Would you like to trade in your BB? Yes. I don't have any, but I want to see what you got. Okay, the standards, power. Ah. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's some of the stuff. Toxic Orb, Flame Orb, White Herb. What's that do again? Restores any lowered stat in battle. That's... Uh, that's definitely better for, like, online matches, I think. Ah, the power orb. Her herb. Not orb. What the hell's wrong with me? Can you guys tell I'm tired? Right, powder. Cast a tricky lead that lowers the opponent's... Ooh. That's good. The headband ups attack, but allows the use of only one kind of move. Mm, that's uh, that's okay. Ah, focus spin. The holder may endure a potential KO attack, leaving it with one just one. Oh, the focus. Oh, that's right. The focus sash is better than the focus band. That's right. Oh, speak of the devil. There it is. If it has full HP, the holder will endure a potential KO attack, leaving one HP. Okay, okay, yeah. Actually, the focus sash technically is better depending on the Pokemon you give it to. You fucking guys sell rare candies? Hot fucking damn! What do you guys sell? What do you guys got? Ooh, TMs! Son of a bitch, you guys got Thunder Wave? Shit, I need to save up for that. That would make things a lot easier. And then you got Will O Wisp, Attract, Aerial Ace, Break, break Bulk Up, Calm Mind, X. Ooh, and Shadow Ball. Energy Ball? Hmm. Sludge Bomb, Dragon Pulse. Stone Age. Oh, you guys sell Earthquake. That's a good one. The hell? This, a scale model of the Battle Frontier. Oh, I'm guessing that red dot is where I'm at. That's neat. Huh. Actually, pretty cool. What? You may buy three scratch off cards for one BP. Hidden on each scratch off card are icons of Pokemon. You may scratch the obscuring film off the card three times. If the same icon appears three times, you will win a prize, like a berry. Also, Ditto's icon can transform into any other Pokemon. Good luck matching Pokemon icons. I, I don't have any, but... Damn. The Pokemon's type. 
The moves to be learned, the items to be held. If your aim is to be number one here, you can't overlook a single detail. Jesus Christ, this sounds like it would take a very long time. My inflatable tube lets you ride the ebbs and flows of life. That's... oddly profound. At the Battle Factory, you have to keep winning with rental Pokemon. It's a real test of your knowledge. It's perfect for a student like me. Hmm. Hello? To be strong is to be weak. To be weak is to be strong. I was told that a long time ago. Not that I have any clue what that means. Okay. There are those who love battling deep in the cockles of their hearts. Cockles. <laughs> People that gather here? Hmm, that would be them. Hmm. So this is the Battle Factory. You know what? I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh, fuck! It seems interesting, so I might as well just give it a shot. Good god, this place looks fancy! Okay, we got freaking Miss Mario and Miss Luigi. Okay. Welcome to the Battle Factory. I'm your guide to the single and double battle challenges. Please be aware that these challenges are designed for a single trainer. Which challenge would you like to take? Let's try double. Uh... Open level? Hmm... Yeah, I guess I'll save. Oh, for God's sake! Why do you always have to save a large amount of data? Ugh. I'm guessing open level is like level 100 or something. But if it is, why not just set it to say that it's, you know, level 100? All right, what kind of rental Pokemon am I going to be given? I've done a bit of research into your next opponent. You can expect to see Probopass, Dragonite, and Lapras. At first, we will hold your Pokemon in exchange for your renting po uh, Pokemon. And may I suggest choosing Pokemon after appropriate deliberation? Oh my god, a Rhyperior! Shiftry. Shiftry would be good against that Probo Pass. I need something that's good against Dragonite. Hmm. Can I look at the stats here? Holy shit, level 100! Holy crap! That fucking attack and defense! Everything else, though, is abysmal. A good thing it's got a focus ban. Rock. Rock Wrecker. The user launches a huge boulder at the foe to attack. It must rest. 150! Holy shit! Ooh. Seed bomb? Rain attack, exit, and fake out. Hmm. Hyper beam, shadow ball, water pulse, sing. Yeah, your special attack and your special defense are pretty good, but oh my god, your HP! Oh boy. Ooh, Metagross, yes! Zen headbutt, wounded punch. Facade, light screen. Slash, payback, avalanche, and counter. Oh my god, that attack stat! Boost attack if there's a status problem. Hmm. You know what? I think I should probably go ahead and rent Metagross. Uh, a shift tree. And I'm going to probably go with Rhyperior. Yeah, this should be a good enough team. Please go in. I'll probably go for like one match, see how this goes. Be my it'll be one of my first attempts at playing with level 100 Pokemon on this game. Don't be shy. You can bring it in any which way. Alright, let's go! You're challenged by Rich Boy Matt. Oh boy. Eh, we should be good. Okay. Fake out on Dragonite. This'll let me set up my light screen. Inner focus! Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! One hit? Okay, set up a light screen. <laughs> oh 
Ow. That was pathetic. Fine then. Go right, Piria! We're all just- we're both of them are saluting! <laughs> okay, uh, bullet punch on Brobopass, and... Rock Wrecker on Dragonite! Okay, that was not as good as I was hoping. Oh no, fuck you and your Dragon Dance! Rhyperior, knock him out! Please? BAM! I'll teach you for one shotting my partner. Oh my god, though, this takes a long time for their HP to dwindle down. Maybe I should have stuck with level 50s. Ooh, thank goodness the Thunder Wave missed. Oh, fuck my life! Okay, um, I'm gonna go use Bullet Punch on Lapras. Wait a minute, I thought Lapras was an Ice type too. Why is still not working? Oh shit, a nose curse. Uh oh! I think I had a Lapras whenever I was playing, um. I think it was, uh. X and Y, actually. I know that thing, that Lapras of mine actually carried me through a large amount of the game. Uh, of course it's got leftovers. Well, I guess to be fair, I mean, yeah. Lapras does have like a lot of HP. Its other stats are kind of low, but I think it can get by because it's a surprise. I think it's a surprisingly good water type to have. Okay, that should one sh that that should have been a good one shot. Yeah, this seems like something I should probably just do off screen. I don't know. Okay. All I gotta get rid of now is that. Pr oh, fuck you, Mike! Oh, I didn't want that. That was extremely uncalled for. Oh, wait, facade. That's supposed to deal more damage if I'm, you know. Oh, wait, it makes no sense, though, because it's a normal attack, so that's not gonna do much. See? And our light screen wore off. Okay, uh, crunch. That worked! Okay, that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. <laughs> well, something doesn't have to lose, just so I don't crush everyone. <laughs> Can I get out now? Well done, your party Pokemon will be healed now. Uh, retire. Yes, please. It's kind of a shame that my Pokedex doesn't get updated, but you know what? I guess that's fair, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. I'm gonna just go see if I can explore new areas. Those guys will get out of my way so I can finally look around a little bit more. Please. Bye guys, thank you. Now, question remains, are you gonna get out of my way? Son of a freaking Okay, what about these guys over here? If they're not going to get out Okay. I'm gonna go somewhere else. See how see if you guys fucking like it. I wonder if I'm actually going able to go anywhere else though. The guy said something about Iron Island, but you know what? Let's go to Canalave City. Let's see if we got any more or um areas we can go explore. Considering that's the only other place that has a freaking boat. I'll just take a look around here, see if we can go anywhere else. Boatman! I got a question! Really, just Iron Island? Ugh. Was there really something that I missed back there at the, uh... This area? Because it seems like I can't really explore anywhere else.
Unless there was something that I missed. Maybe there's something that I missed. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell does what the hell is that dude doing down there? I'm gonna get down there! What the fuck? Hello. Can you take me somewhere else? No. Alright, you'd rather just fly everywhere in some big hurry. <laughs> fuck you. Asshole. <laughs> that guy was a jerk. Freaking judging me for flying around. Alright. Fine. I guess I'll go explore the other area. Can I go around in this way? What makes me mo the most happy being a trainer? The fact that Pokemon will always be with me. Yeah, if only Pokemon were real. The ones that won't destroy the world. That's the one I'm talking about. Behind every Pokemon, there is a story. Isn't that right, dear? Like a Pokemon and trainer, we've been together for a long time. Eventually, we'll be parted. Until then, I will cherish the time we have, dearest. Aww. That was actually really sweet. I wasn't prepared for that. Damn. Oh, here we have a maid. People expect me so much from a maid. Cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Not to mention being good at training Pokemon. It's okay. I know a good teacher. Her name is Kirumi. She's a great teacher. What is this? Whee! Ooh, spoopy. Hmm. What the hell? What are you doing over here? Blaming the game board for losing his pedal. It's poor form! The game board will show better choices the greater the wins you achieve. Okay. Don't be all struck watching the motion of the game board. If you don't stop it in 30 seconds, it'll stop by itself. Oh boy. I thrilled. Be thrilled by the unknown hand of luck. Leap into battles ruled by fickle fate. That's how you enjoy the battle arcade. Hmm. The brain has a peculiar fashion sense. She flits around oddly, too. Kind of like this. A little bump, a little wiggle. Please don't look at me that way. It's not nice. I, I, I'm not trying to. Okay, fine. Nice. Yeah, they even start battles with the move Trick Room in effect. The strategy builds around speed can backfire right in your face. Oh. Interesting. Welcome to the battle arcade. Oh wait, that's multi battle. I can't do that with uh, without a uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> no. Welcome to the Battle Arcade. I'm your guide to the single and double battle challenges. Please be aware that these challenges are designed for a single trainer. Uh, let's just try single right now. Uh, ah, fucking, why is Burn Cost- Ugh, of course Burn Costal is bad. Okay, fine. We'll put Soul, Zekito, and Nerie. Yes, save the game already once again. You better not take too long this time. I guess the game wants me to try out all of them at least one time. Which, that's not a big deal. Okay. Whoa, hello. Whoa! Welcome to the Battle Arcade! First, I hold on to any items held by your Pokémon! Game number one, come on! Without further ado, let's activate the Game Board! Oh. A Bunyiri, a Loudred, and a Farfetch'd? Oh. I, oh, I gotta hit the button. Too mad there is no event this time! Facing retirement soon. I was never admired as an idol. Oh, well, that's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, but you look pretty. Bazia. Far fetched. Show them how it's done, soul. 
I really need to teach her Ice Punch. Oh god, don't have a fighting move, don't have a fighting move. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, that was pathetic. Show them how it's done! Actually, I'm betting Soul could probably one-shot all of these guys. <laughs> A man mirror, you say? One shot? Yeah, that's how you do it, soul! Come on, one shot him again! Uh, Ladra's got a lot of HP. Yeah. Ugh. I don't even know why the hell I'm so surprised. I remember a long time ago, whenever I used to, whenever I played Pokemon Ruby, I had a lot, I had an X Cloud on my team. I would have liked to end my career with a win in this match. I'm sorry. Good going, we'll hear your Pokemon now. Next up, game two. Nah, I'm just gonna try out like you know, each one at least once. We hope to see you again! Thank you! Alright. Alright, we tried those two places. Let's try this one over here now. Ah, this one must be the castle. I mean, it looks like a freaking castle. If you Pokemon one without taking damage, you earn more CP. Ooh, that's good. You can add more CP by fighting higher level opponents. It's meaningless if you don't win, of course. Yeah. At first, you can only use CP for restoring HP. You can spend CP to rank up, though. Doing that, you can even restore PP. Ah, as long as I can restore the PP, I'll be happy. Mr. Derrish. Oh, how I pine for thee. Okay. For every battle, you should check the opponent's lineup. Don't be cheap with your CP. It's like that old saying goes about knowing your enemy. If you know yourself, but not your enemy, for every victory gained, you'll also suffer a defeat. In other words, it all goes up in smoke if you lose. Thank you for that very good amount of advice. Thank you. Hello, old man. I have a matter of grave importance to share with you. I can't stress just how important this is for me to say. If you lose, your entire stock of CP is cleaned out to zero. How tragic. No, that's not good. Like every man's dream, I want to live in a castle. This is a man's dream? You know what? I kind of agree with you. We're buddies now. We have the same ideas. Uh, ugh, I keep forgetting. Talk to Mario, that's the multi-battle. You gotta talk to Luigi. Welcome to the battle castle. I'm your guide to the single and double battle challenge, blah, blah, blah. Just, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the single battle again. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and try out this place, see how this goes. I'm pretty sure you guys in the comments will tell me how to unlock like more er, post-game stuff. Whoa, look at you! Um... Oh, you're probably- oh, you're Daresh. So you're a dude, okay. Welcome to the Battle Castle. My name is Daresh. I will be your host on behalf of Lady Caitlyn. The owner of the castle. Caitlin. That sounds familiar. At first, I must ask you for any items your Pokemon are holding. They will be returned to you when you leave. Next, I have here ten castle points, a CP that can only be used here. They are for you. Please accept them. Please choose what you wish to do. You may heal a Pokemon or rent an item for it. You may check your opponent's Pokemon. That and get some trainer. Oh, that is dickish. You know what? Fuck it, I'll just go in blind.
You may rent a berry or an item. Hmm. I think I'm gonna rent an item for Zekuto. Ah, I can't do that. Never mind. I'll just go balls to the wall and just get this over with. Very well. Please proceed. Holy shit! Wait a minute. You look... I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just imagining things, but you kind of look like that one woman that was in black and white. Uh, she was the, um... She had, like, extremely long hair, but I vaguely recall that she had, like, the little white things on the sides of her heads, I think. Or maybe that was just a hat, hat she was wearing. But, um... She was the, uh, psychic elite for... I'm, damn it, I, I can see her face, like, she was always yawning in her portrait. I'd like to take a break. No? We have to keep getting right away? Alright, let's do this. Show me what you got, cowgirl. Volbeat? Oh, this is a bad type of disadvantage. Okay, fine. Uh, just... <sighs> Fuck you and your quick attack. Soul, just take this one down as quickly as you can, okay? Ooh, that is some good damage. Huh? Raise the foes. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, good. That's one down. Another bug! Could you leave me alone? Oh, God. Don't knock out soul! Don't knock out soul! Please? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Good job, soul! Oh, fuck you, might. Oh, boy, I'm a Zoomerill thief! Oh, blah. Your Zoomerill doesn't have Aqua Jet? Okay, a little shocking. Uh, huh? Defense curl? I mean, that's not a bad move by any standards. I'm just saying I wasn't expecting you to actually use it. Not that it matters, because Soul critical you! <laughs> I want you a tough one. You should take breaks, though. I just started! Duresh, see me for this trainer at once. Sobata, well done. A quite remarkable victory it was. Lady Caitlin has instructed me to award you 25 CP. Thank you. Upcoming is battle number two. I trust you are ready? Nah, I think I'm good. Do you wish to retire from this battle of castle challenge? Yes. We'll return any items that we were holding for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. There's a lot of challenges here. I think I might like them. All right, let's move on to the th the fourth one. Or wait, that's yeah, the fourth one. We've gone through three already, so what's this one? Battle Hall. Let each Pokemon seek number one. Okay. What's research? Hello. You should try the battle hall with different kinds of Pokemon, too. Doing that, you'll be building your overall record as well. What do you got? Wait, there's two Luigis! I keep track of the total number of wins from your longest single battle win streaks in the battle hall. To explain, I only add the longest win streaks of any of each kind of Pokemon. Okay. I'm your guide to the single... Okay, then. Please be aware of these challenges. Uh... Soul. All right, let's see how, let's try this out for once. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a standard Pokemon battle. Bye. Oh, hell yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Please choose the type of Pokemon you will battle. 
Wait, I get to pick? Uh, ghost? That's weird, I get to pick him? I hear my Pokemon calling out. They clamor to battle. You're a weird one. Uh, you're a girl. I gave you a manly voice and I'm so... Huh? Um... This is odd? Hmm... I hear my Pokemon calling out. They tell me of the fun they had. I mean... Okay. That was, uh, relatively quick. Uh... No, that was bizarre. Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not having any complaints, but that was freaking weird. So I basically get to choose the type of Pokemon that I fight. Hmm. Do I get extra... I don't know, I guess a bigger reward if I go up against a Pokemon that I'm weak against? And here we have Battle Tower. Never lose, keep winning. Battle Tower, it's high as a symbol of its challenges to trainers. Hmm. Got three people here though. Welcome to the Battle Tower, I'm your guide to the Wi-Fi. Uh... Ha <laughs> no. Elevator? Oh, it literally is an elevator. I trim my little guy until we couldn't take any more. He's going to do a 100 win streak for sure. Right, Pikachu? Uh... I think your Pikachu's dead. It's not a good thing. See, this one's perfectly healthy! There are so many tough trainers around. It's scanny, but let's do our best, Pikachu! See, his Pikachu is much more lively. The fuck is up with yours? Oh, good god. Hey, old man, what are you doing? Oh, la la, you look tremendously powerful. Very well. Verily, I shall look forward to engaging you in a battle. Okay. They profile you on TV for such a good. Ooh. Okay. I think I know how this works. Basically, I just have to keep going up and up, clearing each and every room that's available. You can call me the Judge. <laughs> it's actually not my real name, but that's what everyone calls me. It's because of this weird power I have. It's a gift, really. I can discern, Judge, you can say, the overall potential of individual Pokemon. I feel like I could judge the intriguing potential of your Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Uh soul. I see, I see. This Pokemon's potential is decent all around. That's my judgment, and it's final. Incidentally, I would say the best potential lies in its attack stat. It's fantastic in that regard. That's how I judged it. Well, I mean, have you seen her attack stat? Soul has some crazy as fuck attack power, and very good speed. She's a freaking glass cannon. Especially considering I gave her scope lens, which is also equally great. Huh. I guess the focus of here is I'm supposed to try out each one individually. Alright, let's go ahead and try out one match here. Okay, and Zekito. Let's give this thing a shot, shall we? Alright. Show me to the battle room, ma'am. Up the elevator we go. Thank you, Luigi. Oh my. Lot of rooms here. Huh. I'm finding a cameraman. Yes, yes, looking good. I need a smile now. Can you do that? I can try. Although I don't have my camera on me right now. Hudson? Huh? 
Really? You're gonna hit me with a Turtwig? I mean, to be fair, unless you've got yourself a friggin' Torterra, I'm not really gonna be intimidated all that much. Of course you've got Withdraw. And... Dead. How are you still alive? Ah! Oh, God. Jesus, man. Soul ain't gonna be taken down by a freaking leaf turtle. Okay, Metal Claw this time. Oh, fuck you and your protect! Come on, Soul, land a good Metal Claw. <sighs> fuck you. Oh. That was not as good as I was hoping it would be. Maybe this will knock him out? Freaking focus band. Ow. I'm still live! <sighs> Why do you have a meme on your team? A really old meme now that I think about it. That's okay. Soul critical that fucking meme. Yeah, that's a good smile. I'll touch your head toward me. Nah, I don't wanna. Soul is just wrecking these fools. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and retire again. I said retire. Well. I've tried all of them. Now I'm gonna go check to see if they will let me out now. I wish to explore more. And if they refuse to give that to me, well, I will go on a riot. Not really. I just kinda wanna new areas, please. Please! That's all I ask! What the fuck? Why won't you let me through? I... I want to explore! Why are you denying me of these various pleasures? What is wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with you? I wish to explore. You deny me. How the hell do I get past those assholes? I just want to explore more. I want to see if I can capture more legendaries, damn it! Do I have to really just go out back there and just try to capture Mesprit first? <sighs> well, I don't know. But that's where I'm going to end it. Well, we got to explore a little bit. Got to see how the battle frontier looks and all that. But got kind of a little frustrated because I don't know entirely what I'm supposed to do to unlock new areas or anything like that. So, I'm pretty sure you guys in the comments will tell me. And I greatly appreciate any help you guys can offer. Now, in the meantime... I'm gonna go capture me a Nidoran, and hopefully an Aaron if I can find one. Because there's like two Pokemon that I really want to get. But anyway, <sighs> I didn't really get to show off any of the good team members, but at least Soul got to have her time to shine, which is great. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and readjust my team, because it looks like I'm just really going to need a very specific setup to take a lot of these guys on. So, if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.